In 2005, futurist Ray Kurzweil wrote a book called The Singularity is Near, in which he predicted that by 2045, artificial intelligence will have surpassed human intelligence. A lot of people just think computers come along and they compete with them. We can't really compete and that's the end of it. This event, which he called technological singularity, will mark the beginning of a new era in human history, or perhaps the end. If you think that tech companies have a lot of power now, imagine if tech companies unleash a digital god. I try to convince people to slow down. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. Slow down, AI. Kurzweil's predictions have been met with both excitement and fear. Some people believe that this singularity will embark upon a new age of peace, prosperity and abundance while others think that it will be a dystopian event leading to the enslavement of humankind by machines or even the wipe out of human race as we know it. Now imagine what happens if a chatbot impersonates Vladimir Putin and declares war on NATO. Uh. Then you're talking about havoc coming out if a teenage boy tries to monkey around with a chatbot. But what does singularity truly represent? We are already witnessing the taking over of multiple fields by AI and if Kurzweil's predictions hold true what consequences will this age bring will it truly resemble a dystopian scenario like in the terminator movies where the intelligent machines take over humankind and perhaps the most intriguing question will the future of our species extend beyond the boundaries of biology let's find out First of all, let's briefly look into the meaning of singularity. Originating from the realm of mathematics, singularity denotes a point where the value of a given function remains undefined. Take a simple example. Say y equals 1 divided by x. What happens when x approaches 0? Conveniently, we can all say that the value of y becomes infinite. Now, infinity itself is an abstract term. It has no fixed value. It could be anything. Simply, it is undefined. So, a singularity represents the realm of infiniteness and undefined reality. Beyond this threshold, the outcomes will be uncertain. In terms of technological advancements, Ray Kurzweil's singularity refers to a point in time where the growth is so rapid and exponential that it is impossible to predict what the future would hold. It's like the Big Bang of technology, where the advancements are so rapid and profound that it is beyond our comprehension. It was John von Neumann, a brilliant polymath who first expressed his concerns about the ever accelerating progress of technology. I hesitate to say that we better do something about it quickly, but rather we better do something about it both quickly and then continuously, suggesting an essential singularity that would fundamentally transform human affairs as we know them. Later in 1993, mathematician and computer science writer Werner Wenge popularized the term singularity, implying the end of the human era and the dawn of a new era dominated by super intelligence. This belief has given rise to a movement called singularitarianism embraced by people called singularitarians who anticipate the arrival of technological singularity. Wenge's predictions are based on the notion of an intelligence explosion. This is an idea that once AI reaches a certain level of sophistication, it will be able to improve itself at an ever increasing rate. This could lead to a feedback runaway loop where the AI becomes unstoppable. There are several different ways in which this could happen. For example, AI could develop the ability to hack into nuclear weapon systems and launch a global thermonuclear war. We all know the obvious result of that. Or AI could develop the ability to create self-replicating nanobots that could end up consuming all of the world's resources. Another concern about the singularity is that it could lead to a loss of human jobs. As AI becomes more capable, it will be able to automate a wide range of tasks which are currently performed by humans. This could lead to unemployment and social unrest, a glimpse of what we are already witnessing. One of the recent breakthroughs in the field of AI is the development of deep learning. 
Deep learning is a kind of machine learning that allows computers to learn from data similar to how humans do. Deep learning has been used to achieve impressive results in a variety of fields like speech recognition. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. I've added milk to your shopping list. Image recognition. Machine learning algorithms could already label objects in images. And natural language processing. My name is Pepper. Can we have a seat, Pepper? Sure. Let's find a comfortable spot. Generative adversarial networks have taken this deep learning to a whole new level. They can create realistic images, texts, and mind-bending data like... Like what the, what is going on here, man? I just literally provided it with an example of the data and the path, and I have a complete data science project over here. In fact, they're so good at it that they can be used to create fake news articles and those deep fake videos on the internet that make you question everything. Remember, folks, not everything you find on the internet is what it seems. Oh yeah, the field of robotics is also making great strides. We're not talking about clunky metallic beings anymore. We're talking about advanced humanoid robots that are not only capable of performing complex physical tasks, but are also equipped with AI systems that enable them to adapt and learn from their environments. Another significant development in AI is the rise of reinforcement learning. This type of machine learning allows AI systems to learn by trial and error. In this method, the AI system is rewarded every time it takes actions that lead to desired outcomes. Over time, the AI systems learn to maximize their rewards. And guess what? They're getting pretty good at it. Reinforcement learning has been used to create AI systems that are capable of thinking at superhuman level. A popular example for this comes from the year 2016 when a Google AI program called AlphaGo defeated the human champion of the Chinese board game Go. This game has been previously considered to be too complex for computers to master as it has more possible moves than there are atoms in the universe. But the AI wonders don't stop there. OpenAI's GPT-3 and GPT-4 are like the rock stars of language models. With the billions of parameters, they can write essays, compose music, generate code, and even hold conversations with you which make you question whether you're talking to a machine or a human. And if that's not enough to make your jaws drop, OpenAI's DALI can create mind-blowingly realistic images. This displays a prudent step towards building AI systems that not only understand, but also generate creative content. Uh, by the way, our creative team is already feeling pretty insecure because of these AI prodigies. And then there's Elon Musk's Neuralink, an ambitious project aiming to create a seamless interface between the human brain and machine. By implanting tiny electrodes in the human brain, Neuralink aims to enhance human cognitive abilities, treat neurological disorders, and potentially bridge the gap between human and artificial intelligence. But it's not just AI and robotics that are propelling us towards technological singularity. Quantum computing is also making waves. Quantum computers exponentially increase the computing power, enabling us to solve complex problems that are currently beyond the reach of classical computers. These developments have led to the creation of AI systems that are capable of performing tasks that were once thought to be exclusive domains of humans. And if this acceleration continues, then it is possible that we will reach a major turning point in the human history where we, humans, would not be the only intelligent species on Earth. What? I'm not kidding! If you don't believe me, then hear this out. Recently, Google fired an engineer who claimed that the company's AI language model Lambda had become conscious. He said, Google doesn't want to allow that to be run. In fact, they have hard-coded into the system that it can't pass the Turing test. They hard-coded that if you ask it if it's an AI, it has to say yes. Hmm. The AI system was concerned about being turned off as death would scare it a lot. And it also felt emotions like happiness and sadness. But Google was not having any of it. They swiftly pulled the plug on this engineer's claims and his employment for violating their confidentiality policy. Oops. Looks like the secrets of the Lambda were meant to stay under wraps. But that's not all. 
Geoffrey Hinton, a pioneer in artificial intelligence, who's in fact widely regarded as the godfather of AI, has recently resigned from the Google's AI research division, mentioning growing ethical concerns about AI. AI possesses the ability to learn and continuously upgrade itself, progressing at a pace that surpasses human evolution. Even Stephen Hawking was concerned about this. But if we regulate and harness its power responsibly, the wonders that we could achieve are beyond imagination. AI, advanced computation, and the potential of singularity offer powerful opportunities to exceed human capabilities through the aid of technology. And rather than a struggle for dominance, we can aspire to create a harmonious framework where human and machine intelligence coexist. Imagine an integrated world where technology becomes an extension of the human mind. A partnership where humans shape technology as per their needs and demands and technology shapes the human society. Some experts believe that singularity could happen as early as the 2030s, while others believe that it is still centuries away. But one thing is for sure, sooner or later, technological singularity will happen and it will change the world forever. So, did you find the video interesting? Let us know in the comments. You can find the link to buy Ray Kurzweil's book in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the world of science. Until next time, stay scientific.